Did you ever notice that in GarageBand, when you get to the end of your project, it just loops back to the start? Well, that's okay sometimes, but sometimes you want to add some space at the end so you can fade out or just have a little bit of a breather. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live today. GarageBand does have a few little quirks and one of them happens to be that it will auto loop. And now look, I'll cut to the chase. There is no way to turn off that auto loop function, but there's a very simple thing you can do to avoid it. And that is to add some space to the end of your project. So to do this, we're going to head up and hit this plus button in the top right corner. And this will take you to the sections menu. Now this particular project has two sections, section A and section B. If your project is just one section and it's just all in section A, don't worry, it works exactly the same way. All we need to do is hit the add button here and add in as many sections as you want here. So as much blank space as you want at the end. Now, why would you use this? Well, sometimes you just want to fade out your track or sometimes it's annoying for it to go back to the start when you're actually constructing your track or maybe you're playing along with a backing track live and you don't want it to start again. So let's just add in here and we'll, uh, we'll show you how we can do this. We'll go 16 bars on that section C. We'll hit back here and we're gonna hit all sections. Now, if you've got any looped instruments, we'll just tap out of the sections menu. If you've got looped instruments like these drums, you may need to just come in here, tap them, tap again, and delete. And uh, we'll undo that, and I'll just show you that if there's a bunch more instruments, the easiest way to do it is to tap, drag a big square around them, and then tap in one of them, tap again, and tap delete. So now what we've got is this exact same project. It can start over here like this. just as it did before. But when we get to the end of the project here, instead of it going straight back to the start, it's just gonna go into this blank zone. Let's show you that. And see, now we get to experience that nice final cymbal hit and that little bit of additional reverb that we have at the end of the track. It also means that we can do cool things like fade out here at the end. Now, you can't use your fade out by going up to your settings here and using your fade out. Why? because it's gonna try and fade it out all the way down here and that's not going to work, but you can use automation to fade out all of your different tracks here, or you can export them out and then do a fade out. I won't show you that here, but there is a video linked up the top and in the description that shows you all the ways you can fade out the end of your tracks if you use this method. So would it be cool if we could just stop GarageBand from looping and we had an option here that just said don't loop? Well, yeah, but now you've got something in your toolkit that's gonna to help you by just adding in a section to the end for as long as you need and then you have that nice blank space and it won't be jumping back to the start of your project every time. 